Good day to you and welcome to another Paddocks Club video tutorial. What seems to be another major fraud by a managing agent has come to light. Tweets on the 21st of December 2012 said Leds Ingleston has been caught out. If your property is managed by Adprop, don't pay outstanding bills, they've gone bust. There was a press report on the 13th of January 2013 and a NAMA message on the 14th of January. Let's give you the story in summary. If in fact you want the, um, more detail, you can go to the City Press website um, uh, and, and, and get quite a bit more detail, but this is just a summary. In December 2012, the EAB obtained an interdict against Adprop and its directors, Leslie Ingleston and Milton Zinn, who were found to have illegally operated without a Fidelity Fund certificate for more than five years. A curator was appointed to investigate what had happened to money withdrawn from accounts used by property owners to pay for services such as levies, water, lights and sewerage. Large amounts are alleged to have gone missing. 237,000 rand in electricity fees not paid to the city of Johannesburg in one case and another scheme put 875,000 rand with Adprop which the EAB says is unlikely to be recovered. Adprop as it happens was not a member of NAMA apparently never was. What are the lessons? Well, what seems to be another major fraud has come to light. It doesn't do the managing agency profession any good at all. Um, the EAB is still functional despite its board being under administration. That is good news. The criminal fines and penalties for acting without an FFC are ludicrously low. A fine of up to 25,000 rand or imprisonment of up to five years doesn't seem to be appropriate given the very large amounts of money that float around in sectional title scheme management. Many schemes are not insisting on seeing Fidelity Fund certificates. You mustn't use a managing agent without a Fidelity Fund certificate and you must know that it's current. If the MA doesn't have an FFC, the scheme has no claim against the EAB's Fidelity Fund. Ensure payments are actually being made. Look at the bank statements. Look at the, the schemes account with the, the, the local municipality. Don't allow substantial amounts to build up in the MA's trust account, but insist on separate investment accounts in the scheme's name. Use a managing agent who is a member of NAMA, and then you know at least that they have subscribed to a, a, to a code of conduct. And also consider insisting on fidelity insurance. It isn't often used, but it really, really is useful um, in addition to the Fidelity Fund cover. It would cover trustees and the managing agent. It's really worth thinking about. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, we can ask them and deal with them in the discussion forum.